Hi guys, so it's time for November favorites and I don't usually say this but where has the time gone? I keep writing the date as October like I completely missed October. I don't know where it went but um, it's the end of November now and I'm going to show you all the products that I've been loving. A lot of these things are probably going to be similar to my October favorites but it's just kind of what I've been using and what I've been reaching for and what I have to have. So I'll go ahead and jump into it. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is my foundation or actually I'll start from like the very bottom and then work my way out. So the first thing is my primer that I've been using is the Spackle Makeup Primer and this is like the big size and I just have been going back to this and I love it. It's just a really good um, makeup primer. It feels a little bit sticky so I feel like it helps me keep my makeup on um, and then it just is, feels really nice on the skin so it almost feels like a moisturizer. Um, so that's what I've been using for my primer and then for my foundation um, I've just kind of been stuck on this and this is the Studio Fix Fluid from MAC. I'm in NC25 right now and I just think it has good coverage. It stays on for a long time and um, I'm always like looking for new foundations but lately I've just kind of not been looking and I've been just using up what I have so that's what I've been using for foundation um, my let's see concealers there's a couple different ones that I've been using I've been using the pro Longwear concealer this just works really great for covering acne scars and then also for under the eye like using it with a 224 brush and just kind of blending it out it works great for that and it stays put it doesn't go anywhere and then also um, I just had it here but I can't find it um, here it is it's the studio finish concealer from Mac this works great for um, concealing but I don't think it lasts as lasts as long as the pro longwear so if I'm you know not going to if I'm not going to be using it all day or whatever I would if it's all day concealing that I need I'll use the Mac Pro Longwear but if it's just for a couple hours I'll use the Studio Finish concealer and then for powder I've been using two different shades of the Cargo Powder next for um, bronzer Hula bronzer I just love this it's like a must have bronzer for me for my contouring <clears throat> I just think it looks great on me any time of the year. So, of course, I've been loving that. Um, another powder that I've been loving is this one from Wet n Wild. It's broken, but it's really good for just, um, like, highlighting your face with, it's almost like the Lorac um, Spotlight. It's, like, almost the same thing. So, um, I've been using this. It's a skin color, so it just looks very natural, but it brightens at the same time. So, I love that. And for eyebrows, I've been using a gray shade, and this is called Copper Plate. And it's just been working really great for my eyebrows. It doesn't look red or like orange or too warm of a brown shade, so it's been working really great. I love that. I wish I would have tried it a long time ago. And then I always use my MAC 263 with that. And for some reason, like this is the only eyebrow brush that I like to use, the only synthetic angle brush that I like to use for my eyebrows. It just works so perfectly for it it doesn't have too thick of a line it looks very natural so I really love that and let's see then for um, eyeshadow base I've been using this one still and it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden it's like a concealer and eyeshadow base in one I love it and then um, an eye base or like a cream shadow that I've been loving is the color tattoo in barely beige and this is just beautiful it really makes any eyeshadow look amazing it just has the perfect shimmer it's just so beautiful even wearing this alone is really pretty but I like to put it underneath my eye it just pokes through and it looks so good and let's see then for actually another face product that I forgot to mention that I've been using this a ton and I've kind of been waking up with like puffiness under my eyes and I've been using the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. This gets rid of any puffiness. It has caffeine and green tea, I think, in it. Um, but it just works amazing. Like, if you have any puffiness, try this because it works so, so well. Okay, next for... Um, blushes I've been using my Tarte blushes I love these these stay on for a long time they're very pigmented and they just have really beautiful shades this one is exposed this one's a new one and it's just a really natural shade and then this one is another one that I love and it's called doll face 
and it's just a really pretty pale pink. I love pale pink blushes. They're probably my favorite, so I've really been loving those. Um, let's see, for liner, I've been using this Emphasize on my waterline, and it's just a skin tone like brightener, and this is amazing. I love it. It stays on all day. It just makes my eyes look so like just awake and just pretty. So I love that. And let's see, where am I at? Um, eyeshadows. I've been loving the Lorac Pro Palette. I use, um, it seems like I've been using this shade every single day as like my base, this cream shade. Um, but it just has a ton of really pretty shades, everyday, everyday colors, and it just is a really good palette to have. Everything in here is um, really pigmented, and they're just really nice colors. So I love that. And let's see here. This brush is one thing that I have to mention because I love it for applying my highlight. It just gives the perfect amount of highlight. It's not too much. It's not too little. It's just perfect. And this is the MAC 1... I believe it's a 168. The numbers are kind of rubbing off, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And it just works great. Also, if I'm going to be applying like... Um, sometimes I put the Wet n Wild powder underneath my eyes just to brighten it up. And it just puts the perfect amount there. So, love that. And another thing, I keep forgetting all of my face things, but this is the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light to Medium Bisque. And along with that puffiness, I've been having a little bit of dark circles. So I put this on with like a little, I thought I would have it right here, um, a little synthetic concealer brush, like just a tiny one. And I put it in the inner corner and then also on the outer part of my eye. And it just makes those go away. So, um... This and this have been working really good for those nights when I don't get a lot of sleep or if I wake up and I just, you know, look tired. These are awesome along with this um, liner. So if you're, if you don't get a lot of sleep or if you um, just wake up looking tired, these three things are going to help you. The Emphasize by Tarte, the Corrector by Bobbi Brown, and then the um, Fast Response Eye Cream must-haves. Okay, next for nail polishes, I've been loving these two shades. I've kind of been feeling that pink look. Today I have like a, actually I used raspberry on my tips, and that's this shade, and then this one is She's Pampered, and they're just both very pretty. The raspberry shade is a little bit more pink. They're like, this is a pink red, and this is like more of a red red, but it still has kind of like a corally pinky look to it, so love these. I love Essie nail polishes. And for lip combination, um, there's kind of a few things that I've been using a lot. Lately, I've been using this lip pencil from MAC and it's Beat and it's like a dark fuchsia shade. Um, I am wearing this today. And then the lipstick is um, Rouge Artist Intense number 33. And it's just a really pretty pink. And then Pink Whisper Lip Gloss from Revlon, which I quit using for a long time. And then I just picked up, um, I picked it up out of my collection and I started using it. Um, I don't like the really nude lip now. I've been kind of doing more of like this pink shade and then I'll use the Revlon uh, Pink Whisper Lip Gloss. Or I'll just use this dark liner and then I'll add a little bit of the Pink Whisper and it just looks beautiful. It's not too dark and it just is a, they go so well together even though they're like completely different colors. They look so good together. So there is that. And I think that's everything um, that I can think of right now that have been like my really go-to things. So I hope you guys um, all are having a great day and a great week and I hope you're having like a great holiday season. Um, I hope you get to enjoy some time with your family. I know I will be trying to enjoy my family and spending time with them. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon.